And I said, ooh. <laughs> Yay. Tell us about your engagement. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Control freak, right? <laughs> trash man every day. Every day the trash man has to come right when it's we Monday. film. It's Monday. He comes on Monday. And nap time, I guess. Monday and nap time, which is when we film. That's right. Hello, everyone. Hey. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Liesl, this is Ian, if you haven't met us before, but you probably have if you've made it to this installment of our How We Met series. You've probably watched our How We Met, How We Met video. You've probably watched our How We Met, our dating series. And so this, <laughs> this is a video you've been requesting, <laughs> our engagement story. <laughs> Yay. A couple of you requested it at least. Like one person said, hey, engagement. No. Nobody said it actually. We just said, maybe we'll tell you our engagement story. Someone, people send me DMs too. <laughs> people slide into my DMs. Tell us about your engagement. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> but no, people did ask. I know, I know, I'm just being facetious. Anyway, back here, this picture that says Laguna Beach shows the city in which we got engaged. This is from Mapafol. I'm actually, well, we are actually working with them on a video in the future mm -hmm. from now. But this I ordered. So much trash <laughs> trucks. Just give it a second, hold on. All right, now that the trash man has left, this picture back here, the only picture we have so far on our walls. The walls are so clean. <laughs> no. Who lives here? I don't know. I don't know. See? They can't trace us. Anyway, we got engaged in Laguna Beach. A hop, skip, and a jump away from here. What was that, Kobe? <laughs> Steph Curry at the shop. <laughs> Brady. This was a terrible throw. Actually. I don't know what the, our archery? <laughs> Guys, I can throw a football and any sort of a ball, so. She's okay. <gasps> Oh no, that was a real surprise. <laughs> that was a legitimate surprise. She can throw, she can throw. On to our story. On to our story. All right, so we had been dating six years at this point. It sounds like a long no, time. No, 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 no. Yes, yeah, yes. you're right, six years. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It sounds like a long time, and it was. But I was kind of okay with dating. I thought you weren't gonna propose that year. Right. So yeah, we already knew we were gonna get married. Mm -hmm. Liesl didn't think I was going to propose that year because, you know, we were young. We didn't have any money. Yeah. So I um, yeah, So she thought I was loaded. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I wasn't. But um, yeah, it was our anniversary. I had recently gotten a raise. Uh, I got a ring. And, but you didn't uh, tell me that you got a raise. No. I didn't, she, she didn't know anything. I didn't. Can you tell that I'm a control freak? I knew about how much money he was making. So I figured, okay, well. She thought she did. <laughs> I knew how much you were making before you revealed to me that you had gotten a raise. I was thinking, okay, when I make a little bit more money, then we can kind of afford to get our own place. I can get a ring for you, things like that, yeah. right? Financial logistics and yeah. whatnot. So, but she didn't know any of this. So it was our anniversary, September 1st, 2015. Was it that day or the day before? we went to get manicures. That day. That day? Yeah. So Liesl always told me, hey, whenever you propose, I don't even care about anything else. Just make sure my nails are done. Yeah. I specifically said, make sure my nails are done and make sure it's a surprise. And those were like my only two requirements. Yeah, yeah. requirements. Control freak, right? <laughs> so how do I get her nails done without it seeming obvious? So I said, hey, let's together yeah. go get mani pedis. And I'm like, oh, great. I mean, talk about a present we can both enjoy. And people right. were like... <laughs> I did like the pedicure, that's it nice. nice. I'm not gonna lie, they massage your feet. <laughs> people were like, well, didn't you see it coming? You were getting a manicure on your on your anniversary. And I'm like, no, like we were spending the whole day together. That just sounded like a great way to spend the first half of the day. Yeah, I'm trying to gauge it, but I'm pretty sure that I've successfully got the nails done, yeah. right? She didn't know anything. No, nothing. So next up is dinner. Dinner. I had made reservations for dinner in Laguna Beach at the Montage. Mm -hmm. I forget what the restaurant's called. I honestly It was don't a know. French restaurant where you pay $500 and you get food this big. <laughs> and honestly, like if any of you out there have been proposed to and you weren't expecting it, I don't remember what it tasted like. I didn't eat very much of it. I was just I don't want to say it wasn't worth it because I mean, we got engaged and it was a great memory and yeah. I just don't remember anything about it. So I had this master plan that I was going to propose at sunset on the cliff. I told her reservation for dinner was at five, but I actually made it for six. 
So we park and get our stuff and I look at my phone, I'm like, oh darn, <laughs> we're a little early. I messed up. Our reservation's actually for six o'clock, so we're a little early, sorry about that. Oh <laughs> my bad. <laughs> so let's just go and let's just walk around. But me, I'm thinking like, I even said out loud, I'm like, well, it's a Tuesday. There's probably- <laughs> Oh yeah. She's like, it's a Tuesday, it's probably not a lot, lot of weight. They could probably get us in early. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, just be quiet. <laughs> No, so I said, okay, let's take you know, let's take a walk because it's this big resort, yeah, overlooking the ocean. It's really pretty. I was like, well, we could just walk around and leave. And I'm like, walk. He never wants to walk. I even made that face. Yeah. Like, what do you mean walk? Like, you walk? never want to just aimlessly walk. Well, it's not aimlessly. I was trying to convey like, oh, it's a really beautiful resort. Like, it's, yeah. Look at the ocean. Like, let's go walk along and take in the scenery. But you're Ian's not Is the what? type of person to just go on a walk. If he's walking, it's like for something, even at that point. Like, yeah. I think now we're more of like a, let's go on a walk. Yeah. But at that point you were like- As a way to spend time or something yeah. together. But before I was like, I would only walk to get From somewhere. point A to point B, not yeah. just like, let's take a walk on the beach. So that was like random. I, I'm still not like understanding why he said that. But even though it was random, I still had no idea like what was about to happen. I was just kind of like, it's weird that you want to walk, but okay, I like to walk. <laughs> and I'm like looking. I'm surveying the land. Where should I do this? To walk around, you gotta do, go down these like thousand stairs. So- And I'm in these like five inch <laughs> heels, skinny stilettos, and he's making me walk down all these stairs. That's right. I said, you want me to walk down all these stairs in these shoes? And what I said was, it won't be that bad, but what I thought was, you're gonna earn this engagement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But as we're walking down, I can see like, all the cliff line and stuff and they have benches and but they they had in this one section like a little like not an awning but like yeah like, it kind of goes out a little bit it's like yeah. a gazebo type like of situation i don't know it, it looked it looked perfect an overlook an overlook it was perfect there was a ton of people over there yeah there was like 10 people there i didn't see anyone i wasn't looking but because I was, I was like just dang walking so we get down there and we're kind of walking along and then <laughs> we walked right by the restaurant yeah. She's and like, you're... can you get us in? And I was like, be quiet. <laughs> well, I was like, I think that's the restaurant right there. And you're like, well, maybe it's over here. And I was just kind of like, okay. Cause there was like, the restaurant was here, but then over off to the right, there was like a further restaurant. There are a few he, of them. Yeah. There. He was like, well, let's just walk. And I was just kind of like, all right, sure. <laughs> let's walk. So we walk and we walk. My feet are hurting. Yeah, and I could tell her feet were hurting. So I was like, would you like to sit? On this bench that I found right here randomly. So luckily there was a bench. There was an open bench. It was here. It was overlooking the water. It was very pretty. It was a little bit dirt gravelly road right there. So we sit down. I felt like Forrest Gump. You guys ever watch Forrest Gump at the bus stop? He's just holding his chocolates. I didn't know what to do or say. I was just like... He asked if I was cold and I said, no, I'm not cold. I just walked down all these stairs. Guys, I wasn't in the right frame of mind. I just wasn't even thinking. I was. She just... was hangry, okay? She was hangry and, <laughs> and little did she know we we're about to go eat this much food, so. <laughs> so just the way everything happened, I was just like, oh, I wish I would have handled it differently had I known like this was the day I was gonna get engaged, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're kind of having small talk at this point, just talking, we're reminiscing. Just looking at the water, spending time yeah. together. But then there's like this, like a pregnant pause in the conversation. <laughs> which is just basically like a really long emphatic pause and i jokingly i don't know why i said this but i jokingly said you're not gonna propose are you and i said no uh <laughs> do you want me to and i said no like i know it's gonna happen when it's supposed to happen no mm -hmm. pressure we're not rushing into anything yeah and from there, I don't even know what I said. I don't know. I don't know how I recovered from that. <laughs> I don't know what I said. Do I, you remember? I don't remember any conversation of that day. We were just talking. I didn't think it was anything at the time to like remember. It was, it wasn't like a date that was out of the blue. We always went to a nice restaurant and did something nice for our anniversary. So right, right. it wasn't like we went it to the Robin. It wasn't above and beyond. Yeah to where you're like, oh, what's gonna happen here? Yeah. It's just very normal status quo. Um, yeah, but she said, "Are you, you're not gonna propose. I'm like, no, <laughs> do you want me to? <laughs> <laughs> and then it was just kind of awkward. And I think we kind of picked back up the conversation and I'm yeah. thinking in the back of my mind, like, okay, how am I gonna get this thing but back it, on track? It, yeah, it wasn't awkward to me. It was awkward to me. <laughs> it was awkward to me. Cause I could not spoil the surprise. No, she didn't, you didn't spoil I it. I didn't, I know. I'm still trying to carry on a regular conversation with you while in the back of my mind saying, okay, how am I gonna segue this now naturally 
And I don't remember how I did. I think I said some things like, I love you, I need you, oh baby, oh baby. You apologize for not getting me a card. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I don't remember. Well, you that. always get me a card. And then for whatever reason, yeah. it slipped your mind, which was, I mean, I'll take yeah. a ring over the card. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking like, oh, I feel so bad that you feel bad that you didn't get me a card. And you're, mm -hmm. you're saying like, basically, I love you. I don't exactly remember what you said. I don't need I love you. You're, like... you're amazing. You're, <laughs> you're amazing. You're wow. beautiful. It's hot. <laughs> I love you so much. Sounds um, about right. You're just giving me like this cute spiel mm -hmm. um, just about how much I mean to you. And I'm just like, oh, this is so cute. And then you say, I remember distinctly. All right. Oh, and remember that raise I asked for? Oh, I never told you, but I got it. And then I don't know what happened from there, but then you got down on one knee. Oh yeah. I pulled the ring out. It was like this. <laughs> and I said, ooh. <laughs> yeah, I got down on one knee, pulled the ring out. Actually, I think my box had, it was like a butterfly open. Yeah. So I opened the butterfly and uh, you know what she did? Nothing. She, she just, <laughs> she cried. And she never, she, to this day, she never said yes. I say yes. <laughs> she didn't say, say yes. She's just crying. And I think you were like, are you serious? Are you serious? Yeah, I didn't say are yes Are you serious? Sure. And she was just crying and bawling and saying, are you serious? And I was like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and then I think I just took the ring off. I put it on her finger because she didn't say anything. I didn't. I, I, was, I assumed it was a yes. It was a yes. And I mean, I'm still wearing it. And we got married. That's true. And we have a baby. <laughs> when are we going to have another one? <laughs> Soon. <laughs> I'm just asking. Soon. It's a legitimate question. <laughs> Someone has baby fever. I do. I know you do. I need I do seven too. kids. Oh, I'm no, just kidding. You do not. No, no, no. I'd be three. <laughs> Anyways. I was shocked. And people were like, well, it was your anniversary. You didn't have any idea. And no, I had no idea just because this was how we typically spent our anniversaries. Mm -hmm. And like I told you, I'm such a control freak that I knew about how much money he was making. I knew what was going on. <laughs> I thought we would get engaged the next year and then we would get married soon after. So yeah. it just never even crossed my mind that in any point in 2015, he would propose. Yeah. So you got the new ring. The new Some passer buyers took a picture of us. Yeah. Here's the picture. So now we go to dinner. Mm -hmm. And one of the best parts of being engaged, also newly married, is free stuff. Free stuff. Free I had, upgrades. I had no idea. <laughs> You get engaged, people say, you're engaged? Here, you're engaged? Here. They just throw money at you. They just throw food and drinks at you. Yeah. We got, it's when incredible. we first got there, I think the, the hostess has asked if you did it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So what did they say? They were being really coy about it because yeah. I think in case I didn't yet, or in case you said, I don't know, no. Yeah. They were kind of like, so are we celebrating anything special? And I'm thinking like, I told you guys exactly what was happening. <laughs> in my reservation details. So maybe they didn't get those, yeah. but I think she was trying to feel it out to make the sure. Funny thing, I think, thankfully you proposed before we went in because had we gone in and they were kind of like, they were like high school, it's not high school. They're like, but they they're like, like, like this. So are we celebrating uh, anything, anything? special? <laughs> and it's just like, that would have been, weird. that would have been like a tip off to like, why are you guys being weird? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Give us our table. But kudos to them for keeping it, you know, <laughs> sort of calm. <laughs> and not just coming right out with it. But yeah, so they sat us. Gave us complimentary champagne to start off our meal. Did we get chocolates too? We got cho We got a lot of stuff we that did. I can't remember. And then people in the restaurant were like, you get engaged? We're like, yeah. They're like, oh. Yeah. Sending Gave us another glass of champagne. Sending us free with desserts, our desserts, appetizers. So nice. And then after that, we went to McDonald's. No, we didn't. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> I'm like, did we? <laughs> I ate everything and I was starving still. <laughs> the food was good. I'm, yeah. we, I'm making fun a little bit, but it was very, it was delicious. A lot of free stuff. But you all know when you go to like a really upscale expensive restaurant, the portion sizes are smaller than like Olive Garden, Black Angus, Outback Steakhouse. Well, like when you go to Mastro's or something, I guess those are shareable. Yeah. I think there's something about French cuisine. Somebody tell me. Well, it's, it's like the quality over quantity. Yeah. I think we would appreciate it more now than we did back then. Maybe so. And maybe on not such a like a big day. Yeah. Because it's hard, maybe it's hard to taste or eat. I was still in shock that like we were even engaged. So the whole time I'm just like looking at my ring, looking at the view. The view was beautiful. If we have a picture, we can insert it here. It was a traditional sunset proposal, go to dinner afterwards, but um, you know, classic. You can't beat it. Nothing like bungee jumping 
he didn't put the ring in my food. Yeah, nothing like that. <laughs> and if you know me, I would never do that. No. I'm not like a, a ring in the food kind of guy. No. I get all dirty. <laughs> I was very shocked, caught off guard. It was everything I didn't know I wanted. It was so simple. It was just the two of us. I thought in my head, like, I want this big extravagant, like, rose petals everywhere leading up to this like spot with a guitarist and mm -hmm. a violinist um and like people watching on with someone like videotaping yeah. and i didn't it's like you know me better than i know myself <laughs> it was the most beautiful intimate yeah. proposal that i could have ever dreamed of good that's what i was going for yeah. i you know i figured it was like this is a special moment for us it's us it's for us to live in our memories that's right <laughs> I will say, he had previously gotten me just like two rings for, one I think you got for my like an, for an anniversary. Rings, yes. Like silver rings, yeah. That were heavier than like my engagement ring. So I had to take the one off, I just chucked it into the ocean. Yeah, she was I like, see it, bing. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> no, I, I bought just, you that ring. <laughs> I know, I'm kidding. But I took it off and I was not used to like just wearing this single band. And I panicked, like, I kept feeling like it was falling off because it wasn't insured at that point. He yeah. was like, make sure you don't lose it. So I'm just like, I don't, I'm not used to feel, not feeling anything. It's such like a skinny band that I just couldn't feel. And then I was like, oh, I kept waking up that night. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, it's still there. I think they call that a knife edge. Yeah. She took lots of videos like this when she was done. So I'll insert one of those videos. But basically it's a, I got it from a jeweler who used to be a diamond buyer for Tiffany's and her guy, made custom rings for Tiffany's for like mm -hmm. 25 years. And so they made me basically a, a six prong Tiffany classic classic round. with a knife edge, whatever band round mm -hmm. setting. So it's basically, it's basically a Tiffany's ring without the Tiffany Tiffany's price markup. tag, <laughs> which I mean, you yeah. did a good job. Blang, blang, baby. I got you. Blang, blang. Can't see me. Oh, blinded. Oh, <laughs> uh, fast forward a year. Nine months. Nine months and, oh yeah. Nine months. Nine months we were married. Oh, yeah. So at dinner, <laughs> I'm still like on cloud nine, like he proposed, what is going on? At dinner, he's like, so when do you want to get married? And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Your work was done. Cause you had been holding the secret in for, I don't know how long. Yeah. And so like you had already moved on. I was just like, wait, you just let me in on the secret. I'm not ready to move on from this yet. But yeah, nine months later we got married. Maybe we'll do that. Is that a video you guys would be interested in? Like our engagement into our wedding? Let us know. So thank you guys for watching our engagement story. Thank you for joining in this joyous occasion. This trip down memory lane, it was fun. Guys, I hope you got some ideas, all right? <laughs> French restaurant, tiny food, okay? It's key. Nails done. Nails done, always. But we hope you like this story. We hope you like us. <laughs> If you're still watching at this point, we hope you like this video. If you did, like it, share it, subscribe to our channel, put that bell on, all right? Ding, ding. Tell so, your friends. Yeah, you wanna know when we post, put the bell on, all right? You gotta click it. Leave us a comment, as always. You know how it goes. Be blessed, don't stress. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.